Good morning, Carolyn. My name is Bree from Northland Marketing. How are you doing today? I spoke with you yesterday and as promised, here is your analysis. I wanted to get on here real quick, go through your site in this video to do a website audit and show you personally what is holding your website back from being in the top three on Google. I'm gonna jump in and start going through what we see and where we think you can get the most value. I'm gonna mainly be going over three things you can do today to really bring value to your company and start outranking your competitors online. The very first thing I wanna go over is your website and what we call content. When someone searches for a roofing company in West Virginia, Google crawls the websites on the internet, searching and ranking the results. Google is looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. Now, when I go through your website, I see you have some great photos and a beautiful layout. There's just not enough content. And one thing I can tell you about Google is Google loves content. They like to see a minimum of 1,500 words on your homepage, and you guys only have 268 words. Adding another 1,200 words of content with the keywords you're trying to target is going to really make a difference in you being found on Google. Now, not only does Google come in and look at the content on your site, but they're looking to try and see if you have those search terms. They can't tell what search terms they should be ranking you for if they can't find them on your website. But having those keywords on your page listed three to five times really ensures that Google is going to find you. Now, if we take a look at your Facebook page, right now you actually have the wrong URL listed for your page. When I click on this, it brings me to a site that can't be reached. Okay, so I just want to bring that to your attention quickly. Now, if we go to a Google search for roofing West Virginia, we can see that these people are running Google ads, right? And then this is called the Google Map Pack. And the top three listed here are the ones that receive a lot of the work, but they're super easy to find and they're listed right away. The websites listed below here, these are called the organics and the same thing applies. You wanna be on the front page of a Google and ideally in the top three positions to drive as much traffic to your website as possible. Let's take a look at this first business here, Elite Roofing. We can see that it's a nice site, some good pictures. Not a whole lot of content though. So let's talk about why they're listed first. This is a paid program I use to research websites called Arifs. I went ahead and put their website into here so we can see what we're up against. The second thing I wanna go over is UR and DR ratings. Now a DR rating is a trust rating, meaning how much Google trusts your website. And a UR rating shows how powerful your website is in the eyes of Google. These are generally raised by backlinks. We can see they have 166 overall backlinks. And these are their powerful backlinks. We can see they have 55 powerful backlinks. Now these refer to links that point back to your website. In Google's eyes, everything is pretty much like a popularity contest. A good example would be if a blog website wrote an article about roofing companies and listed your website URL as a company they recommended, that would be one backlink. I want to call attention to their organic keywords. These are the keywords that are in their content like I was speaking about before. For example, roofing, Charleston, West Virginia, there's 150 people searching for that every single month and they're in third place. Roofing contractors, Charleston, West Virginia, another 70 people searching for that every month, and they're in fourth. Roofing, Huntington, West Virginia, another 60 people, right? Roofing contractors, Morgantown, West Virginia, another 20. Gutters, another 30. Huntington Roofing, another 30. Okay. There are some really awesome search volume going on for some of these towns and for the state. Let's take a look at your website's ratings. We can see that the UR rating is a little bit higher, which is good. However, your DR rating is, is a little low. We can see you have 1,300 backlinks. However, only nine of these are powerful. This is a really pretty low number. If we look at your organic keywords, we can see you have 213, and some of these are pretty good ones. Construction companies in Huntington, West Virginia, there's 30 people searching for that every month, which is okay. But you're down in fourth place. 
contractors, Huntington, West Virginia. There's 60 people searching for that, but you're down in ninth place. Roofing, Charleston, West Virginia. There we have 150 people searching, but you're on the second page of Google at 14. Roofing contractors, Huntington, West Virginia, 40 people. Again, you're on the ninth. Roofing, Huntington, West Virginia, 60 people. You're in 11th on the second page. Okay, so we can see there's some more good volume. Metal Roofing, West Virginia, 100 people searching, but you're in 18th on the second page of Google. You have these keywords. You're showing up for them already. However, you are listed so far down on most of these that people really aren't going to find you. Okay, But in this video, we went over how to get yourself onto that front page of Google. One, through content and your keywords and how you need at least 1,500 words on your homepage. Two, through your UR and DR ratings and how we'd need to raise those numbers with backlinks. And three, your backlinks, what your competition has and how to beat them out by showing Google you have more authority. And if you implement these strategies today, you can be on the front page of Google. I wanted to go ahead and shoot this video for you guys. If you like what you've seen here today, you can email me back or give me a phone call. We can continue to look further into what you would need to get your website ranking. I hope this was helpful for you, and I really look forward to your feedback. Have a great day.